Go eat. Oh my god. Go eat. Antelope Canyon. Wait, we're going to Antelope Canyon. many different styles throughout the tribes. We have a couple stories as well. Also, it's the most competitive dance down in Phoenix, Arizona, the Herbs Museum. They host the world's champion hoop dance competition. And this year, that's what I'm getting ready for. There are about 10 hoops up here. I pick them up and make designs and formations. The unique thing about it is I use my feet to pick up these. <laughs>
A lot of you folks are going down on your guided tours through the canyon, through the canyon, and then back up here. Make sure you have your mask on. Oh, no. <laughs>
inside and everything. Thank you! Visit Antelope Lower Canyon! And that's the end of our tour! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Lower Antelope! <laughs> Say hi! 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 <laughs> Going home now, we're so tired now. So tired <laughs> from a four hour trip going to Antelope Canyon. And we're gonna ride the sky train. Ooh, kitty. Fancy. <laughs> Hello everybody! So, ayun na nga. <laughs> I will be sharing some tips, what to wear, how much does it cost, where is it located, how to go there, and what to expect when you are going to visit Lower Antelope in Page, Arizona. So, actually, there are two canyons for antelope. There is an Upper Antelope and there is a Lower Antelope. Both are located in Page, Arizona. It is um, located in Navajo land. That means it's a reservation. Um, Native American people live there. So you really need to book a tour. And for us, we book via Dixie tour. It costs like $90, but I know there is a discount for that one. So you just check and Google how much does it cost. Um, Okay, let's start with where did we go. So, the one that we visited is the lower antelope and it's shaped like a V. So, that means it's um, narrower inside and it's wide open on top. And like the um, upper antelope, it's the inverted V. It's um, spacious inside and it's narrower on top so you mga a beam of lights must that's why it's it's pretty to capture the the beam of lights because narrower shot on top um, as what they keep on saying when you open or when you search the antelope in google the one that you're gonna see is more pictures on the upper antelope so that means it's more photogenic that's where the photographers go because Miss Marami Shang, scenic view na mo arte. But I guess, I don't know, I cannot um, compare it because I've never been to a, um, a parentalope. But for me, lower antelope is so mesmerizing already. It's astonishing. It's outstanding. It's so grand. As in, all the good adjectives that you're gonna describe, you're gonna use it when you're going to visit that um, antelope. So, yun nga. So, um, tip. If you're claustrophobic, if you have a fear of height, don't go to Lower Antelope. Try visiting the Upper Antelope because in Lower Antelope, there is a very steep stair. It's made of metal. It's safe naman. Pero, yun nga, if you're afraid of heights, 
don't go there. <laughs> Matatakot ka lang. Yung lower antelope, it's more adventurous compared to the upper antelope. So, um, for those, um, it's not allowed pala for um, three years old below. So, hindi siya allowed. And also, siguro, if you're too old na to go down the stairs, you're not allowed to visit the lower antelope. So, what to expect when you're there? So, parang 45 minutes before your tour, kailangan, you need to be there already. And then while waiting, there is like a short show wherein there is a Navajo man who performed um, the hula hoop dance. And that is very native to them. So, yun, if you're uh, generous enough, you can tip them. Because they deserve... Um, a recognition so you and, and then before you go down mag -ano sila, mag briefing sila what to do what you're gonna do and also a mask is a must so you need to you need to wear one whenever you're on the premises so after that mag um I endorse ka na ng um administrator dun sa dun sa tour guide nyo so every tour guide uh, sampu lang ata ang pwede. So, for us, we are so lucky kasi Kevin, look for Kevin, he is very friendly. He actually took pictures of us. So, yun, syempre, at the end of the, at the end of the tour, you need to tip them also. That's, that's part. And, it's very crowded when you first go down kasi, of course, all of the people gather in one place. So, you, lahat, palang, oh, oh, ganun na ang ration. Oh, wait naman. But, yeah, you will be, you will be in awe kapag when you first go down the stairs kasi as in grabe it's so it's so amazing and you're gonna think oh my god god is so great he you know he he made all of these good things and as in parang parang ka nasa ibang um planet that's that's how it feels so yeah medyo medyo um crowded siya kasi the people gathered on that um, particular place. That was it's hard to take a picture. And as you go, you go further and mas marami doong um, views na may enjoy mo kasi mas mas limited ang tao. As in, you will be really um, amazed. Information sa loob ay as in. Kasi parang ano siya, eroded, eroded soil siya. Tapos nga, you go with your group and then i know they're explaining you mga formation like what you saw a while ago there is like um a wind a miss they call it miss wind that was there are also like um uh lion's head there is also a series but i wasn't able to to see that one because <laughs> we were so busy taking pictures like um Ma, hindi ka naman masasawa kasi you're gonna say, ah, it's just, it's just all the same. But no, it's not because um every corner, every place, it has a different shape. It has a different art there. So, yeah, you're gonna see that when you go there. Next is how long does it take to go there? So, for us, we rented a car kasi kakain siya ng mileage kapag yung car na kasama ko ang gagamitin. So, we just rented a car in um, airport. There is like a rental car there near airport. And it took us like 4 hours. It's like 163 miles from Phoenix going to Antelope. As you like, it's just a wet. <laughs> so, yeah. But sabi ko nga, as, as what... I keep on saying it's all worth it. Lahat ng pagod, lahat ng energy, lahat ng ng effort mo. Pag nagpunta ka na don, mawawala lahat. Bayad lahat ko baga, <laughs> kasi it's very nice talaga. Tapos um it's a long drive. Madadaan naman yung Flagstaff. Marami ka ding pading daanan along the way if you're you know going to um have a tour hindi lang yung canyon kasi i know that the horseshoe band is just near there the grand canyon too is just along the way the flagstaff the berry zone they're just all along the way and sedona too so ayun so if you're planning mas maigi na na you really need to plan kasi nga um you need to have a reservation before you go there Kasi, um, as what I've said, it's a private land. Tapos, hindi ka lang basa basa makaputa. You need to have a reservation. So, ayun. 
um what else should i share and on what season are you going to visit so if you're planning to visit during summertime you can just wear a tan top or a short and just a sandals you hiking sandals but if you're planning to go there on winter just wear something like a heavy coat because oh, it's so cold hindi namin handle siya tapos you know just wear a jacket or if you have a thermal leggings just wear one and then you know a comfortable shoes bag is not allowed unless you have a clear bag so lot of things ko nilagay ko na sa packet ng jacket ko kasi you're not allowed to um bring anything but you're allowed to bring a water with you so ang nadala ko lang is um my cell phone and my my handkerchief that's just it <laughs> also bring your food kasi um after the tour you will be hungry kasi you know very steep na siya tapos narrow inside you'll really gonna exert effort bawal marami pa lang bawal you're not allowed to take a video <laughs> pero dahil dahil ano tayo sutil tayo <laughs> we have some clips para ma-appreciate natin lalo yung view. And then, you're not allowed to um, use a uh, tripod or ano pa yun. Ang dami, ang dami nilang bawal. Kaya when you're there, just savor the moment. Take pictures as much as you can. And don't, <laughs> don't forget to use the panorama and the vivid. <laughs> Kaya ayun, yeah. We will learn a lot from Kevin. He's, he's a very good photographer too. So yeah, all in all, it's a very good experience and you need to try it too. As in, everything is worth the try, worth the wait, and worth the travel. So, and I'm gonna see you on our next tour. Probably maybe um, Upper Antelope or maybe Grand Canyon or maybe let's bring you to Sedona or Horseshoe. Or maybe we're gonna go to Utah and go to Zion Park or maybe to the four corners they call it the intersection four corners we're in arizona colorado utah and new mexico i guess meet that's where it is so i don't know i don't know where are where are we going next but i'm praying that we're gonna explore more as many states as we can you know life is too short so have fun and travel more so i hope you like this video and you learned something from me and i'm gonna see you soon don't forget to like and subscribe bye